You? Yes, you. Come. I'm Albert, and from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy. For being fearless. For boldly crisscrossing the city at night, as if it were broad daylight. <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe, because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past. A bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is an exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the intellectual and philosophical dark ages. So, your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks, boy. I'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created through the eons of human existence. The greatest thought pieces, philosophical treatises, works of romance, drama, and horror. All of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself. Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Work with me, please, to find and secure these treasures. I've been researching the local private book collections. If I'm right, many priceless volumes may be found all around the city. Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night. That's where you come in. Here, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. Humanity's books. The world is collectively sighing right now due to your efforts, and it doesn't even know why. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic, and it's only begun. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Few books have shaped the world as profoundly as the Bible. Hmm, Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Powerful stories of virtue and resilience. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. You have just rescued the collective unconscious of the Western world. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Let's stoke it more, shall we? 
Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me.